Leo, Leo, what it be, yo? It is Scorpion Reds Tarot. I am back at it again with the mid month of March to let you know what is going on, what we got popping for March the 15th through the 31st. What's going on with you guys? Y'all been good? Hmm? Y'all ain't been stealing no hearts out there, Leo? Hmm? What you been doing? What you been doing? You been doing? <laughs> Mm. We want to see what's going on, what you've been doing. That's for sure. So listen, hmm. thank you to everyone who's been liking, sharing, and subscribing. To all my new subscribers to Scorpion Reds Tarot, I love you, I love you, I love you. Thank you so much for all your love and support and your positive energy. Because trust me, I feel the vibrations, baby. All right? Y'all make sure that y'all hit that notification button. If there's anyone that would like to um, book a personal, a private reading with me, you can do so by clicking that about tab. There's a hyperlink there that says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me. Again, it says Scorpion Red Tarot as simply book me. If this video gives you clarity, gives you insight, and if you would like to give a love donation to the page, you can do so. Um, my PayPal is in the description. And thank you so much to everyone who has been um, giving love donations and um, helping my page grow. As you guys know, you, you guys made it possible for all of these decks. This is new. This is new. This is new. And this is new. This camera that I'm recording on is new. And it's all because of y'all's love and support. And just being inspirations. Like, you guys inspire me. And I appreciate y'all. Um... You know, giving the love back because it helps me to give love back to the page to be able to give y'all these awesome decks from Mystic Moon Tarot. She is amazing and she is also another reader on YouTube. So y'all make sure that y'all go and check her out and tell her that Scorpio Red sent you, okay? Miss Mystic Moon Tarot, trust and believe. She got some bomb twin flame readings. Y'all go ahead and check her out. So anyway, let's get into the reading Leo. Father God... Please give the sign of Leo guidance for March the 15th through the 31st. Thank you so much, Father God, for keeping us elevated above the BS, Lord. I just, I don't know. I'm, can I say it with my chest? Hold on. <coughs> Hold on. Good morning. <coughs> Hold on. Let me. <coughs> Father God, thank you for keeping Leo elevated above the BS. Come on, Father. Come on, Father, today. Okay? Can we just say that to you? Can I... <clears throat> let me clear my throat. Can I clear my throat one time and say it so you can hear me clearly because I want you to know, Father. <laughs> I am so serious with everything in my heart. Like, that is how I feel. Leo has, like, seriously got to a point well, I want to say the yo, like, psh, you proud of yourself. And I feel like you've been shocking yourself at how high you've been keeping yourself. And you just have not been letting things that could have and should have irritate you in the past and get your, <laughs> your fire sizzling. Like, you just not even, it just not even uh, penetrating you at all. Thank you for this, like. This level of just gracefulness and this moment of clarity and I even feel like Leo's going through a point of forgiveness where it's just like, you know what, they don't even have no hard feelings about stuff no more. It's like, man, I forgive you because if, if, if this stuff would have never happened, I'd have never elevated to this point to be where I'm at now and I'm glad I'm not that person no more. So, you know, for that, I'm sorry everything happened the way it is, but at the same time, Thank you, because I'm a better person now. So, Leo wants to just thank you, Father God, for this level of elevation. Please give Leo guidance to keep them soaring high, to keep them above the BS, and not ever bring themselves low to a place where they feel like they have to address, uh, be stressed, <laughs> be down. Feel like they don't want to be around. They don't want it. They don't want none of that. You feel everything that they want to experience right now is pure love, light, happiness, and enjoyment, and just excitement. I feel like Leo just want to go out and dance. Uh, like Leo has, I don't know, like y'all tax money coming up. I, I feel like y'all excited because y'all got plans for the spring and the summertime. I feel like y'all got like maybe two or three trips y'all trying to go on. Like y'all are just like truly 
at the purest state and the purest form of your life. And y'all are so happy. Thank you, Father God. Because I, I really do feel that in my life. I feel that right now in my life in regards to Leo. And right now on one of my decks, this is the, the card that's sticking out on the top. And it's just like clarity. And it's just like, I done came through this ice cold, rugged journey. I'm soaring hot with this reef, honey. This victory, that's celebration. It's like, honey, I'm soaring. <laughs> Give me guidance. Give me guidance, Father God, for Leo. For mid-March. The 15th through the 31st, thank you so much for this elevation. Thank you so much for this clarity. Please give us guidance, Father God. Thank you so much. I'm going to start off with spiritual, well, spiritual card. Card from, directly from God. A spiritual message directly from God. For Leo in regards to this mid month, March 15th through the 31st. Please give Leo a spiritual message from God, directly from God, directly from source. What is this? Take back your power, <laughs> baby. I told y'all, honey, you've been soaring. It says, use your God-given power and intentions to manifest the blessings in your life. I told you, listen. It's not even that Leo is needing to take back their power. I, they took back their power, okay? I feel like Leo is in a point where, in their life where they feel like this is God's blessing being showered down on me. They feel powerful. They feel anointed. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> God has truly blessed me. But I'm soaring. Give me additional guidance around this energy. Give me, give me energy. Give me the energy surrounding around this. Take back that power for that. Please give me guidance around the energy. But Leo, mid month, March 15th through the 31st. All right. The gate, the garden, and the gates. And what is this? The angel of strength. Okay. Okay. I get it. Okay, so this is what God is basically saying. The reason why he's saying to take back your power is because you have taken back your power. But at the same time, you're teeter-tottering. <laughs> you're teeter-tottering. It's like because you found a little bit of happiness right out here outside this gate. See, what this card means, the garden and the gate, it's like you are so happy that you've overcome and you've come far and you finally reached this gate you know where it's like you're finally free you're finally able to enjoy your life and, 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 and experience the beauties and enjoyments that life has to offer but it's like why limit yourself because you're already in this powerful state. You already are, you know, getting your juices back and everything. But you are also limiting yourself because you're getting so fascinated by the beauty and the glitz of the gamma of what is, what I am, you know, what's appearing to you right now in front of the gate. You see, you have a whole vast world in front of you. Don't get fascinated with what's right here and just stop. Go through the gate, you know. But I feel like. I feel like you guys almost, it's like a, a, a fear. It's like a fear almost because I feel like it's too much room. It's too much space out there. It's like I don't even know nobody out there. I don't want to get lost. I, I don't know, like, has Leo moved? I feel like maybe some Leos might have traveled and y'all have moved a long distance. And y'all might be in a place where y'all might not know a lot of people. And it's like, you really do need to get out there and walk through that gate and really explore. Explore and get and experience all of the beauty that the whole world. It's like you have the whole world in front of you and it's like also for some of the leos that have been thinking about moving and just i feel like some some leos are like the ones that have money like that i can hear like some of y'all are just like man fuck that shit i'm about to just take six months off or something like that i'm about to just travel 
And it's like y'all been teeter tottering at this gate. And it's like you know you can do it, <laughs> but for some reason it's like you're just like lacking the strength to actually file the papers or just like kind of just leave where you're at right now and take that journey. Like take that journey. Don't teeter totter at the gate. Like really take back your power. Walk through this gate. Experience every fucking thing that the world has to offer you. Don't stop just because you made it here. You made it here, but it's so much more. Go further. <laughs> Go further. Hmm. And then 30 and 50, that's eight. That's like transition. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's like the universe aligning itself to get you where you need to be at this current place in your life. And it's just like God wants you to push through. Because you're on the right direction. You're on the right path. Like you're moving in the right direction. Keep moving. Don't let nothing stop you. Don't let nothing stop you. I feel like sometimes you guys feel tired too. And I feel like that's why you're standing at that gate. Because you're just like, okay, I done made it here. Let me just take a rest. Let me take a pit stop right here. Okay, God is telling you. You've rested. <laughs> now let's go. You know what I'm saying? Like, this was not this was not the end place. Like, let's go. I feel like some of you guys are tired because y'all gone through a long journey. And y'all like it's so beautiful right here. I feel like I'm in the Ritz Carlton or some shit. It's like, yeah, but what I got for you, honey, is like the Grand Plaza. <laughs> and it's your Grand Plaza. Like you don't have to, like, rent a room in the Ritz Carlton, honey. You know, you see this? It's like you're getting fascinated by the Ritz Carlton, and God is like, honey, I'm giving you the Grand Plaza. The Grand Plaza. Not a rented room. Okay? <laughs> Pick up your strength, grab your bag, and let's go. Like, girl, what are you doing? If you want to stay at the damn Ritz and you want to give all your little change there and shit like that, I'm trying to give you something that's for you, boo. What are you doing? A page of Wands. Getting messages of something very passionate. Something. Something that's sparking your interest and you leaving something behind. I told y'all y'all leaving something about Ooh. Celebration. Marriage. There's that marriage and that celebration. It's called y'all done got that message and y'all like, look, I'm gone. Because God told me it's up all the way. I told y'all if y'all just keep moving a little bit further, honey. Two, two, two of pinnacle. And they go at both two people leaving. Look, your ships, this, this, ships is set. It's so much movement. It is so much movement right here, bruh. The page of the page of wands is walking away. I feel like he's made his mind up. The page of wands has made his mind up and he's really decided where his passions truly lie. And he wants like a commitment. He wants to celebrate. He wants to truly possibly have a reunite. I I mean I feel like some Leos possibly want to reunite with somebody, but I just don't even think like it's like they have someone in mind. I feel like they just want to reunite with happiness. I think the idea of being a, in a stable commitment marriage, I think that that's something that they that they want to go back to. I think I feel like for a while, like Leos probably probably been in this kind of I'm just kind of doing my thing mode for a minute. But it's like, man, I done did this shit. This shit boring. I want to go back to something that is worth, you know, me balancing right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're going back to something that makes more sense to them. And Page of Swords. Yeah. Clarify this page of tools for you. 
Mm. Okay. All right. Yeah, cuz I feel like Leo 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 understands that me being single and trying to just date, I feel like it it, it leads to more heartbreak and that's not Leo's that's not Leo's intention. They're not out here trying to break people's heart. They're just single. They're not committed to anybody. And it's like, listen, when I deal with these people, I can't. It, it, it's like, no. OK, it's no such thing. I'm not going to say it's no such thing because there are some people out there that could just date and have sex with no emotions. But it's like the way this Leo feels. And I feel like this is a Leo man. OK, this Leo man feels like I can't be out here and just date these people and think I could just have sex with them with no emotions because at the end of the day, these people end up get caught up in their feelings and I have to walk away because that's not what I'm on right now. And I'm not trying to... I feel like Leo has, has got to a point where they mentally understand and they and they're might be sending messages to someone just to make it clear to them like... Me and you dealing with each other is just going to lead into a heartbreak right now because, you know, I'm dating people, you're dating people. Like, there's no true commitment right here. And, like, I don't really want to do that. Like, I don't really want to do that. So, <laughs> I feel like Leo is going back to being a committed person. I don't think that they like this dating thing. It's just like, I'm too old for that. And I feel like this page of wands is growing up. It's moving on to, instead of a page of wands, it's moving on to a knight of wands. Because they're, they're communicating to this person and they finally figured this out. Like, I got I to gotta cut, cut this out because, like, you can't have, people say you can have sex without falling in love. But it, this is bullshit. Because Leo feels like every goddamn time I have sex with someone and we just supposed to be chilling and stuff like that. These motherfuckers start tripping and people try to say I done broke their heart. And I'm trying to cut that shit. I ain't even, you know what I'm saying? I done finally came to terms with myself. I done looked it at myself. I feel like Leo evaluated their self and realized that dating is not for them. Dating is not for them. They want a commitment. They want a commitment. They, you know... They're growing up and they're just realizing that, you know, I thought I wanted to be single after the breakup that I just went through. I tried that. It's just, I, got, I did that shit when I was younger. <laughs> I did that shit when I was younger. I'd rather just, like, chill out and, like, you know, wait till I find somebody I can find a true commitment, someone that I can marry. They're moving towards marriage. They're moving towards commitment, you know. That's something that's worth balancing. It's something worth juggling. It's worth putting your time and effort into. And as you can see, those are ships. So I feel like they feel like their ships are sailed in and their life would be more balanced if they had someone that they were truly committed to or someone that they truly loved. And <clears throat> I feel Leo moved away from the situation that they were in, which they should have, and they came over here to being single thinking that it was, okay, so they came over here from troubled waters thinking that the single life would be a better solution for them, you know, because they just broke up with somebody only to find out, like, this ain't for me, you know what I'm saying, like, I'd rather be in a commitment, I'm not going back to who I was with, though, but... I was happier when I was in a committed relationship. So let me communicate this to whoever this is that I've been dealing with. Like, we're not committed to each other. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you doing you, I'm doing me. This is, this is going to lead to bullshit. So, like, let me just cut this shit short now. So you won't be trying to say, oh, my heart is breaking. You broke my heart. I'm trying to man, get that bullshit out of here. Like, you do you fucking other people, too. Go do your thing. Like, <laughs> I want to be with someone that's committed to me. And <clears throat> I just, you know, and that's why I feel like Leo has been possibly teeter-tottering. As something that looks good and looks like it could provide happiness. But it really wasn't providing true happiness. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the single life was not really what it was cut out to be. And it was cool. It was cool for the moment. It did serve its, pur it served its purpose. 
you know it served its purpose but it's just like man i did this shit when i was younger like i'm too grown for this shit <laughs> And as you can see, he is leaving and he's walking and he's leaving some chick behind and he's taking his wand with him, honey. His good, good, good wood with him, honey. <laughs> Leo got that good, 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 good wood, honey. Oh, yeah. Having a heart to heart conversation. Religious factors, I told you, like. I feel like the person, I feel like they just been, yeah, separation. They, I, Whoever it is that Leo's been dealing with. And there's no attraction there because it's just no really, it's no commitment there. And it's just like, ah, yeah. And it's safe for you to really find love somewhere else and truly be happy. Leo is like, no, why am I? Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. All right, so like I said. Leo doesn't really want to have to sit down and have this heart to heart um, conversation with this person. But this like Leo is going to have to break this shit down to this person and let them let them know, like, look, me and you are not on the same page. We don't want the same thing. So, like, it's we might as well just cut this shit short now. We might as well separate. I want something that I mean, yeah, we did come into the situation just fucking and just have a fun and shit like that. But at the end of the day, like. I just feel like it's too confusing. It's too confusing. And I, I feel like... I feel like... The people that Leo gets their self mixed up with... They've been making it clear that they just want some like... You know, some fuck shit type of shit. But these people end up falling in love with them. And it doesn't cause nothing but confusion. And then possibly the ones that Leo might like... Those are the ones that be out there doing them. And it's it's just it's just it's just been a a a a, a, a clusterfuck of jokes. Mixed up energy. Leo wants to separate from that shit and it's just like this date and shit. It's just dating, dating. No. No, <laughs> no, 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 because it's just, it, I feel, I just feel like confusing in my chest, and it's just like, this dating shit is some bullshit, it's like, it's, it's so hard to find someone that just wants to be committed, and I feel like, Leo, the Leo men feel like, okay, I understand men being off of this, oh, we just fucking shit, and we just in and out fucking shit, but for women to be like that. And I feel like it's the really pretty ones or what or the ones that they really be connecting with. Like those are the ones that are just like, man, but we just we just fucking and it's just like what? <laughs> so, <laughs> but, and the ones that Leo don't really be tripping on, those are the ones that be going crazy. It's crazy as shit. It's just crazy. Leo just like, man, this day is shit is some bullshit, bro. Whoever they dealing with right now, it's just like the situation ain't going away. And they just want to separate. And they just feel like because there's it's not going anywhere and it's not going to lead to commitment. Either on Leo's part or the person that Leo is dealing with part. It's just like no commitment there. Like, oh, it's not going to lead to commitment. They want to separate because they don't even consider them attractive no more. Because the situation within itself is just like... <sighs> It's childish. That's how I, I feel like Leo feels like it's childish. Like, this is what shit that I did when I was in my early 20s and shit like that. That's that page of wands. Like, that's some, um, like, early 20s. Like, 21, 23. Like, that's like some, some no, nah, like, uh-uh-uh. It's safe for me to love. It's safe for me to love, but I feel like their friends helped them get into the situation. Like, kind of trying to tell Leo that they need, just need to be a player. Just need to go around and just have fun and shit like that. And like I said, it was, it did serve its purpose. But it's just like, man, my friends, they like this fucking wreck any damn way why the fuck was i even listening to their ass they don't know what the fuck they talking about like that situation with their damn wife is goddamn pieces like come on man, i'm listening to that damn fool fool but i know it's safe for me to love but just because i broke up don't mean i need to be out here on no play shit you know what i'm saying i just need to <laughs> find someone that's on my level i need to get this strength to continue to walk through the other side of this gate because clearly what's glitter ain't gold everything that's in the Fitz Carlson is pretty and everything but it ain't mine I don't own it do you understand now 
that analogy. And, and when I was saying it earlier, it didn't make no fucking sense to me. But why go to a beautiful place? It is beautiful, okay? Yes, right there outside of the gate. It gives you everything you want at an eye's glance, all in once. And when you look out into that vast land, the only thing you see is grass and just openness. But you have no idea what's on the other side of that mountain. You have no idea what God really has set up there for you. So why stop and limit yourself at the Ritz Carlton when you're merely renting? You are renting. When you can own the plaza. Do you see what I'm saying? And I feel like almost like that's what they felt like it's like once they once leo kind of looked at this shit it's like man i don't want to fuck with somebody dead and I, especially for the leo man it's like this dating shit like you doing you i'm doing me shit like i'm fucking you and i really like you me and you cool i like hanging with each other and shit like that but you dance be talking to other people like i and, and it's kind of male chauvinistic but I feel like the Leo man in their head is saying, I, it's okay for men to do that, but it's not okay for women to do that. And they don't think that that shit is attractive. Their soulmate. They feel like they can't find their soulmate. They feel like they can't find their soulmate. And they're not willing to compromise. With someone who truly don't give them full recognition. And they're hoping by the fall that they can find their twin flame. Ooh, Leo, yay. Yay, yay, yay. Yay, Leo. Like I said, Leo thinks this shit is childish. This dating shit, this shit is child's play. It's like, man, God is like, come through this gate. Stop renting. Stop playing around. Stop stop renting temporary love. That ain't, it don't have no full commitment. Come through the gate and walk through the plaza. Something is yours. I know you travel long. I know you travel hard. I need you to take this strength. I need you to get your strength together. Okay? And you see that's that lion right there. That's that lion. That is that lion. There you go. I need you to get your strength and I need you to walk through this gate. I need you to walk through this gate. Leo feels like they cannot find their soulmate. Like they cannot attract their soulmate right now. And that's why they're like, I'm not doing this dating shit. Because I'm not willing to compromise. I'm not sharing myself with somebody. I'm not. What do you like? No, no, no. Ever we talking? Or we not talking? Like, what you mean? Like, what, 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 what do you mean? And I specifically threw this energy for, like, the Leo men. It's like, you're not going to be talking to me and you over here doing whatever the fuck you're doing. No, you, no, 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 no. That ain't what we're doing. I'm tired of doing that shit. So if I'm being honest and true to you, if you can't give me your full, <laughs> if you can't recognize me, you can't recognize me and only me. I'm not the I'm not the only person that you see in your life. Then I don't I don't want to be with that shit. I'm hoping I'm gonna get it some time. I'm just gonna be patient and hopefully by the fall, I hope God send me my true twin flame. And I don't feel like Leo has Leo has not met that person that is really. You see that? You see that fire? Someone that can really control that beast. They haven't met their twin flame yet. And I feel like throughout this journey and everything that they have been going through. They realize that they've been just going through false soulmate connections. And Leo's like, man, fuck that shit. I want someone that is going to be with me through eternity. Through <laughs> That's going to spiritually, we're going to travel through the ages with each other. And I haven't met that person yet. I don't feel like throughout any of their spiritual journeys through life, I don't think that they felt that true twin flame connection yet. And they just want to kind of get their energy together. So at least by the fall, they'll be able to truly have that connection. That is so beautiful, y'all. 
Oh, please give me some additional guidance for Leo. And then we're going to get up out of here, you guys. Oh, twin for love by the four, y'all. Yes, honey. Uh, one thing you need is that strength, honey. Don't be out playing around at the bread. Look, you a fancy bitch because let me tell you something. You look, at least you wasn't at no Motel 6, bitch. I was at the Ritz. I was still good. <laughs> That's why Leo was chilling, having so much fun and shit like that. It was like, there's a whole bunch of pretty bitches over there. Look, them bitches got money. They take care of they stuff. They, they smell like cinnamon over there. Them bitches smell like cinnamon. Like, they be calling their man, be like, man, y'all need to get shit together. Y'all need to come over here. These bitches smell like cinnamon over here. <laughs> okay. Smell like they bathe in pomegranate juice. Like, what the fuck? I don't know what type of special unicorn dust ass bitches they got over here. I didn't even come over here to the Ritz. Oh, these bitches beautiful. Look. Oh, boy, with the two of cups. Your soulmates. Leo. Leo. Boy. About to fall, honey. By the fall, and that is the lake of Aphrodite back there, honey. There is going to be a sudden change, honey. There's that tower. A sudden change is it's going to hit you so suddenly, bruh. This love is going to come into your life. It's going to hit you so suddenly, and you're going to be so glad that the Lord help you get away and tear down that old person that you were because you that mask has been broken i feel like leo in the past like y'all used to put this mask on oh in the world called leo didn't i tell y'all that y'all was moving y'all was moving and y'all in that fixed energy bro like boy they go that bull leo lee yo that world has been opened up to you, bruh. Oh, my God, Leo. Twin flame soulmate energy by the fucking fall. Do y'all hear me? That shit is going to hit you so suddenly. You are going to... Oh, my God, y'all. Oh, my God. Yes, y'all have been let in from young. Your pentacles have come... come I can't, I can't, I'm not, I'm not, I can't do it no more. I gotta leave it right here, boy. And, oh my goodness. This, what is this, the Knight of Pentacles? I can't, I can't. Okay, listen. In the fall, <laughs> that soulmate gonna hit you suddenly. It's gonna be like a lightning bolt. And you're gonna thank God so much that everything that broke down and crumbled in your past that destructive relationship everything that you got away from it broke that mass you are just naturally a good person clean clear brand new slate brand new start of life man brand new start of life and god allowed you to get away and start a brand new foundation because if you look behind this tower card the people were in this energy like i said god sees all these people both of the people that lived in that tower got destroyed there was no survivors you worked hard and you changed your energy and you deserve love. And it's going to hit you suddenly. You see them sphinx? Those are the sphinx from the chariot. You broke that mask. And you carried yourself away. Like I said, you traveled long and far. You swam through those oceans of you being emotionally a wreck. And just unstable and unbalanced. And now, God is telling you. You see that lake of Aphrodite that is in the background? <laughs> Love is going to pull over something. Let me tell y'all something. I'm just, mm -mm. bruh. The world and the five of pentacles. Stop stressing. Listen, not only has you, you came up financially. Okay? You not no beggar. You not out in the cold. You created, you created a brand new environment for yourself where you're comfortable. You're just, I just feel like because you haven't been able to connect with the soulmate, you have just been 
um, it's just been driving you a little bit crazy. But a brand new world has been opened up to you. And this is a fixed energy. It ain't going nowhere. It's time for you to dance. It's time for you to celebrate. Keep moving forward, Leo. Do you hear me? Keep moving forward. Keep moving forward. I'm going to give y'all one more card and I'm getting the hell out of here. Twin flame soulmate by the fall. Y'all hear that? And it's going to be sudden. It's going to hit you. What is it? Healing from heartache. Listen. Heal that heart. Stop worrying. All right. I know you have not been attracting the right type of people that you want. Heal your heart and know, know, know that true love is coming to you. You just continue moving forward and thank yourself that you grown up and you realized that this wasn't for you and that you want a true commitment. You know, you ask and you shall receive. <laughs> you ask and you shall receive. You ask. And you shall receive. It's going to be a whole new world, honey. Stop stressing. God has given you all of the resources that you need. Everything. Baby. How many times was, listen, soulmate, twin flame, all right, coming by the fall, marriage, okay? Movement, okay? You're moving forward. You're leaving this shit behind. What is you're finally balanced and you know what you want and your ships are sailing. Your ships have came in and you're moving forward. Okay? You're moving forward and you're balanced. Okay? Another movement. Movement. You're mentally sure and you're mentally grounded. That you want to go back to being happy in a committed relationship. And that's what God is giving you. Someone that is on your page. I love you, Leo. I hope that this resonated. Whew. Whoever you've been dealing with, had, go ahead and have that heart to heart discussion with them because it's the universe is not gonna the universe is not going to um truly open up the doors for that love that you truly deserve until you have this heart to heart dis the discussion with this person and let this person know, like, look, I know what you've been doing. I know you've been out there talking to other people. I know you've been out there talking to other people, you know? So, and, I, and I, I'm not that mad at you. I've been talking to other people, too. So, you know, I don't want to start off a commitment. That ain't how you start off a commitment with being with somebody. Y'all both, y'all in the streets and shit. I, you know, you nice and everything, but, like, nah, like, I don't, I'm not attracted to that type of energy. So, it was nice knowing you and everything like that, and... I don't want you to hurt me, and I don't want to hurt you, so let's just, like, nah. I wish you luck, though. So, y'all go ahead and have that conversation. Y'all wrap that shit up. Open up the door. Soulmate, twin flame. By the fall. You see me? All right. If this video resonated, and this video gave you some clarity... And if this is actually how you're truly feeling at the moment, y'all go ahead and hit that like button. Y'all hit that subscribe button. Y'all hit that notification bell. If you want to give a love donation, you can do so. The PayPal is in the description. If you want to book a personal and private reading, you can do so. Um, the link to my booking, which is Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me, is on my About page. All right. It's a blue link that says Scorpion Reds Tarot at Simply Book Me. I love you. Love you. Long time, Leo. I cannot wait. I cannot wait to see what's popping off in the fall. Peace.